Hey, welcome back. Sometimes you just need a dopamine hit. And today I have got all my cats and we are going to head straight into crazy cat lady territory with a too much cats build or too many cats. If we, we're going with better grammar, but we're not going to. We're just going to have, we're going to have too much. It's too much cats. Too much. No, it's still bad. <laughs> so I have collected as many cat like theme things as I could from my Lego collection. I've got all of my cats here. We got a uh, grumpy chunk of cat. We've got variation on grumpy chunk of cat. Oh my goodness, I was just, we're just gonna, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. I mean, we start with the cats, right? The cats are the main feature here, and I have a lot of them. And like often happens, when you have a lot of something, you don't, I don't know quite where to start, because we have, I have, I have too many. <laughs> I am that crazy cat lady. I love these ones. These ones came from, like, all the different colored ones. Oh, I have two yellow ones. How did I end up with two yellow ones? These came from the, uh, the blind box things, the cubes, the cat cubes. There's a gold one there somewhere too because there were gold and bronze ones. I collected all the colourful ones and some of the others some of the others I just had one off for each flavour. <laughs> yes, because cats are 100 percent flavoured. Speaking of flavours, that was a little bit loud. Speaking of flavours, what are the, all the different styles of cat we have in Lego so far? So we have the forward facing one, we have Grumpy Chonka, we have this sideways one which was the first style to come. No, we're not doing Minecraft ones today. They're kind of no, they're too big. They're gonna be too big, I'm sorry, I'm gonna exclude them. We have these, yeah, the sideways one, which was the first Lego Friends ones. We have these, we have Snowball, which is like in its own kind of Lion Snowball 2 from The Simpsons. We've got the Standy Uppy Cat. We've got the Crouchy Forward Cat, which is like from Belleville. And we've got some kitten variations too. So we've got the Friends style kitten and we have got a City style kitten. Both cute in their own their own unique ways. So these are all the different styles of cats that we have so far. They come in all different colours and patternings. But I still, I really think, and I 3D printed one earlier this year, we really need, I don't know where I put it though, we really need a, like a line curled up sleepy cat. So this is the one that I made, which is nowhere nearly as cute as a proper Lego one. But I want, I want a legit Lego variation of a sleeping cat because that's what cats do for 23 hours and 50 minutes of the day. So I mean, it it's like it's normal and it's it's yeah it's a little bit more realistic <laughs> anyway all right so this is where we're starting now if we want like themed cat stuff thanks to the gabby's dollhouse theme happening we have got so many cute things which have got like cats just plastered all over them it's like kawaii cute cats so we've got so many places that we can actually start with this there are also all of the characters that came with the Gabby's Dollhouse stuff. And we've got all of the Unikitty stuff to all of these faces, these three by one blocks, these bricks that have got Unikitty faces on them. So I'm going to just literally plaster these all over the build. So that's sort of me. It's going to be eyeballs everywhere. Cat eyeballs everywhere staring at you. <laughs> Not creepily. We're going to make characters too. So we can kind of mix and match the Gabby. The Gabby mini dolls, because we came with, they came with like three different variations, which is so good. I've got a minifigure cat here, which I'm going to, we're just going to look at, but I'm going to put to the side because it's just a little bit creepy. Just doesn't, doesn't, it's not going to work for what I want to be an ultimately very cute, happy build. Couple of hair pieces with cat ears already on them. Of course, we got pandy paws. We could like use pandy paws head too, if we wanted to. Maybe, oh, this top and this bottom aren't matched up. Not that it matters, but just going to put things back the way they originally well, let's put together. Oh, and yeah, we've got Mercury. Wow, we do have so many good choices now. And two cat hair pieces in two different colors. Uh, and all of these ones, which are like a cat minted, minted, cat printed mirror or a porthole. Right, okay, let's make a character. Let's start with one. So this shirt actually came from Emma. It's so cute. It was so quiet. And I just love this bottom with the socks. I just think they look so cute together. So this is where we are starting. And I mean, this is obviously Emma. So we're going to put Emma in. It's, this is going to be like a variation on our OG Lego friend, Emma Girl. Let's do some different hair though, because I just love this new hair piece. And uh, I mean, it's black. So it's just like Emma's got a new hair, hairstyle. And we're going to use these, these Gabby ears. So because it just all goes so nicely it's so cute and it's not Emma anymore now because we've compiled all sorts of things so this is kitty we've got a kitty as our first character for this build but I'm not stopping it just one because we've got so many other hair piece choices so if one wanted to use this turquoise one with the black ears let's find I'm going going straight to the head go heads first heads first tails second oh, tails oh my goodness I mean I can't really make 
a tail because all the tails are made for minifigures, but I could have physically made one. I do have a cat tail somewhere, which I made for uh, Chat Noir somewhere. Oh, okay, I need to dig that out, but maybe not. Let's stick with this. Let's go with this top and maybe something different on the bottom that's not quite as cat themed, maybe. We'll just do this one because this ties in nicely with the hair. So just need a little bit. Yeah, I need just a little bit of a tie in. So we've got Kitty and Tabby, because this one's now called Tabby. And we can make a boy character too, because the torsos for the Gabby Playhouse are, you know, unisex. We can use them on either. So there's a fantastic rainbow top. And if I want to use, oh, see, if I want to use like a traditionally short boy hair piece, I had the, almost none of them had accessory holes in the top, which is so disappointing because boys like accessories too. They like to accessorize or that if they don't, they should, because it's really fun. So this one, this hair piece actually has this like beautifully product to do to the side. It's got a hole in it so I can put cat ears in there. So this guy's name is going to be Aslan because it's Turkish for lion. We got Kitty, Aslan and Tabby and they're ready for me to make a cat. <gasps> oh, what? A cat something, a cat themed bonkos build. So I always wanted to do a cat cafe, but I just, I don't want to make it sensible. This is, this has got to be, this has got to be just full of nuts. So <laughs> it's my native, this is how I normally roll. All of these sensible builds I've been doing lately with the Taylor Swift stuff. <laughs> oh no, it's time for something absolutely ridiculous. So dragging in as many things as I can already that have come from once again Gabby's Dollhouse thanks very much for all of these pieces this one oh where did the ears go for this I, I took them off for some reason I don't know we need to put the ears back on we got all these printed little faces which are just perfect little printed cat faces so we're gonna have big furniture cat pieces um and we've got this which came off the Cat Hotel, the Lego Friends Cat Hotel. But I'm going to just change it up a bit because even though I said, you know, cat sleep 90, 90 something point something percent of the day, like like 110 percent of the day, I'm going to change this up so that it is a week. So we're going to have little, little eyes and one of these cute little snout pieces with like blowing bubbles. And there's going to be cat here on the corner. I've put a jumper stud over here on the corner. And this is going to be like a focal piece at some stage up on the wall of our cat cafe. Yeah. All right, it's already, I mean, the colors are not going to be matching at all. I'm not sticking with any color theme here because it's, no, color scheme because we're sticking with a theme. Yeah, a cat theme. So we need a door with a cat door in it, which is, this one's perfect. Let's put, because this is going to be facing inside, we put the handle on the, no, that does not work. Dang, I really hoped it would. We'll put that on the outer. Oh, well, we can actually just turn it so that it can be facing this way. So it can open inwards. And then we can see the really cool handle. And then the cat door can open inwards. And hopefully it won't knock. Uh, like, no, it'll be fine. Let's put this. Yeah, there we go. So we got Daisy the ginger already sticking out of the door there. Let's put this cloud tree cat thing here. as, And we'll use it as a prominent part of the wall. <laughs> uh, this can go over the door. Yeah, I'm just kind of shoving things together here to see how it all, hopefully it will all come together. So we need these supports on either side so it doesn't just overhang weirdly. Uh, and now we might actually just put this, yeah, we could, oh, I was hoping that would hold those two bits together. Let's get the fridge together. So this is going to be over in the kitchen side of our cat cafe. So in here we need some cat nums. So we've got a drumstick, but it has to be raw because you can't give cats uh yeah you can't give cats cooked chicken bone because it shatters in their throats bad and cheese not sure why because because i like cheese and milk because apparently cats love milk well they do love milk but you're not supposed to give it to them it's also sad really <laughs> oh my god poor cats they miss out okay pop this over here and now i think it's time to yes yeah, to, to bind these two base plates together so if i just put these down over here these little jumper tiles we'll utilize them later but i want to make a big cat path all the way down uh, from here, from from the door to the edge, and we're going to use these, which are traditionally supposed to be pet treats, but in this case, they're actually, you know, paw prints, because that's what they actually have on them, paw prints. So if I randomly put these artistically, randomly, all the way, all the way to the end, and then I fill up whatever I haven't filled there with some nice turquoise tiles, and then it becomes like a really cute little carpety thing that's covered in cat footprints. <laughs> Dirty cat footprints, which is hold on, it's cut. They're going, they're facing the wrong way because they this should be dirty coming from the outside in, but that's okay. 
<laughs> I like it this way. In the corner, we're going to put a cat tree, like a cat scratching tree. And this actually came almost hollis bolus out of the cat hotel, except I've just changed it like the tiniest bit. I've changed up the bottom, but the rest is exactly the same. We're going to shove snowball down. No, that's not snowball because we've already got snowball two from the Simpsons. This one's called um, Bianca. No, hold on. The one on the top's called Bianca. <laughs> I've already... <laughs> okay. I'm going to call them Schmerpsy, Flurpsy and Plurpsy are here on the cat tree. Nice work. Flurpsy, Schmerpsy, Flurpsy is the one with the, with the mohawk. Mohawk Flurpsy. These fabulous cat scratched armchairs also have just come out of the cat hotel. I'm transplanting a whole heap of stuff. I've changed up the seat itself just to put a like a cute little stickered seat on there. But apart from that, it's all exactly the same. We're gonna put this directly in front of this pink bit that we've got. And then we can just put another little cat face above there. That was such a cute little cat chair. <laughs> okay, and bring it in pandy paws. Woo, okay, it's already absurd. I, I love it. Over here, another kind of cat scratching post tree thing. And this one came out of I'm out of yeah out of the actual Gabby's dollhouse so just changed up the color scheme a bit because I haven't really got any uh, any coral in it and on the top we have got lavender the lavender cat oh maybe I should call it like pinky the lavender cat because that would be confusing on this door on this wall over here we're going to yeah we're going to put in some big bits just to fill up yeah, to take up some nice substantial space to start with, because down here we're not going to see what's down low because we're going to be putting couches in front of it. But this is going to be the Unikitty feature wall. Here we go. And we're also going to have like some jumping up points so it's kind of like a cat staircase too. So they can be perched up high and they can use it to get themselves up high. <laughs> You know, like from platform to platform. You understand. You got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So going to stagger in these unikitty thingies and have some little forward facing studs too because I also have some really cute little cat portraity things that we can put on the wall as well as the unikitty unikitty faces it's going to be absolutely yeah it's going to be cluttered this whole build is going to be cluttered it is definitely going to reach too much cat max hundred percent okay all right so trying to just I'm just trying to make sure that these cat faces are staggered so I'm just putting random bits of pink in between them too oh I got these really cute printed tile from yeah this is like this is a little cat like party one from Emma's something from one of the Emma sets oh I've got a few of them they turned up in a few in a few sets okay and can you keep getting going up here another we can put another one on here which is also from all of these paintings are Emma themed. I wonder if we're going to see much more cats. Oh my gosh, my grammar is awful, but it doesn't matter. Many more cats from the uh, from the new Lego Friends line. Okay, we've got just a couple more holes to fill here. Another platform so the cats can get all the way up to the top of what's going to be like a... Like, the, the can climb to the top of the wall and hang out on the top of the wall because I'm not going to put a roof on this because I'm too lazy. Okay, so let's install some cats in here. So we have got, we've got ginger megs over here looking really, really cross. <laughs> and on the side here, we've got Happy Larry. And then one of the weeny little kitties. This one's called Schmarpson. And this purple one is called Tiddles and then the gray one up here is called gray because his owner was very unoriginal But just so very very loved coral one on the very top has got yeah aspirations of grandeur We're gonna call it tiger now along the top We're going to put some more tree in the same color scheme as the as the rainbow tree at the back with all of the the, 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 the fairy lights on it too so if we make it lilac and pink and then we just kind of hang a little little see-through studs underneath they'll look like fairy lights and they're in the same color scheme as yeah as as our rainbow cloud tree thing it's just all gonna tie in really nicely and they can use this tree then to also walk along all the way across the all across the top of the walls all the way oh i did warn you it was going to be nuts so so <laughs> don't say i didn't it was 100 percent transparent up front okay that's so cute more cats let's install some more cats up here uh we're gonna have this little little one called called caramel and this one with the two different colored eyes called todd and we've got the yellow one whose name is sunshine I'm 
Of course. Of course he is. <laughs> Look at all these kitties. There are so many. Are there too many yet? Not yet. All right. Over here is our seating area for the cafe. So we're going to make a whole heap more couches. Are they for the people who are visiting or are they for the cats? You choose. I mean, we're really there for the cats. This all oh, these couches are going to be for the kitties. <laughs> so this one, I'm just kind of putting something in there. I don't have another scratched, scratched up couch kind of stickery thing. So I'll just put something nice and low to the ground. We've got a little spot on the side where we can attach attach a cat nice and safely so we can have one on the arm this one oh this one actually has a name i can't remember i don't know what it was but i'm gonna call this one cinnamon roll because <laughs> <laughs> just won't annoy him all up and this this couch came out of the cat hotel with all the scratches on the back this one's a lovely comfy like sprawly couch and this has got oh he has a name too <laughs> he's chocolate bar he's adorable this is not his proper name but this is that i'm renaming all the cats <laughs> for our too much cats build okay all right we put this in here we'll put chocolate bar on his co's deliciously comfortable sofa here and then next to here got some more places on the ground for pillows and like rugs and fabulous places for kitties to hang out because they just love hey they, they like being up high but they also like being on soft comfortable things all right table here because it is cafe so we need to have some snacks on the table people snacks not cat snacks though we really should probably have a whole table for cats for cat snacks anyway because it's a table with food on it of course there is a cat on it so chonka cat is now hanging out on this table really close to all the food certainly like violating all the health regulations but it's a cat cafe what are you gonna do i'm trying to stick that down again okay it's good we're good we're good we need another little seat over here off to the side so just a cute little one nice and then if i put some feet on it and i'm just sticking with the pastels because the pastels are just coming naturally to me to match all this color scheme here and then i can pop it yeah that's good and we can put pinky on here pinky malinky all right in the front section we've got our cloud table and on the cloud table actually we won't put anything on the cloud table yet we'll put some cushions down here first a whole stack of cushions and then we can use that as a seat too. Uh, but we'll need one more seat over there for kind of the middle east section. And this one, yeah, I've got no more little scratchy things. We're just shoving, we're shoving seats together and they're just so haphazard, but they're also so funky and cute because that just fits the whole theme. <laughs> all the kawaii stuff with the confetti on the sticker for this one okay uh oh we're gonna need some food here too so maybe this one we just got a bubble tea over here and then because it's a table with food on it we need to put a cat on it too so we got smoky on this one and then over here on this chair is miss daisy and we've already got a daisy miss miss petunia and we've got snarky cat and in the corner we have got Fire Ranger. Ooh, who wants to let me name their cats? I'm so good at it. Okay. Okay, so we've got little boxes with cat faces on it. So we'll put a uh, fish in this and then we'll bring in Snowball 2, Simpson Snowball 2, the <laughs> slightly deranged looking cat to nibble on that. And now we need to make the food preparing area. <laughs> <laughs> surrounded by cats so sanitary and we'll pop this as actually this might be our front the front serving table -y thing <laughs> still just I mean still we're just surrounded by cats a red ball for playing with and then in front we can put another little boxy and this can have some cat toys in it but we'll 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 put them together in a minute. let's put in some let's put in the the oven kind of thing oven the cookie bit so this this oven came out of leo's room so already still got some cake in it so that's perfect we got some cake baking and then <laughs> weirdly enough we're gonna have cats all the way around but not oh not in the oven because that would be entirely entirely unethical and wrong so we have got little one down the bottom we got turquoise monkey at the very top in the drawer i just love how the kittens fit in the drawers it's adorable i would have just like filled all the drawers with kittens <laughs> but it would have been pretty boring but i just love the kittens Okay, we need a cake display because it's a cafe, so we're going to need some cakes. Don't know how many of these I can actually make that will be cat themed, but we do have this really cool printed sleepy face, so we can use that as the top of the display. So that works right as a cat, yeah, as a cat thing. And this came from once again the Gabby's dollhouse thingies, and we're going to make this into like a layered sponge cake. Yum, a purple, purple and chocolate layered sponge cake, and we'll make some more really, really kawaii coloured 
yeah, really colourful, <laughs> delicious looking cakes. So maybe a little cupcakey too, just to mix up the variety. And oh, we well, we need to make a prepared like chocolate layer cake, like the one that's actually in the oven. So here's one that's we've pre-prepared, pre-prepared on there. And of course we've got cakey. So we've got one sitting there on a platter and we've got cakey. So they're already ready. So let's put the rest of these on the shelf. That doesn't fit. I need to maybe put it down. I don't know why I thought it would fit on the bottom shelf and it didn't fit on the top shelf. They're exactly the same height. Hmm. <laughs> Let's just, we'll just leave it there and hope that it fits. Yeah, okay. And pop this cake down up here and then the other little cupcake down here. But yeah, I need to, I need to just pop it in and see how it looks in situ. Now look at that. It's bending backwards down on the bottom. I need to just take this bit off here and add another 4 by one turquoise plate. <laughs> just so that it sits up just a tiny little bit higher and then everything fits in nicely. Should have done that initially. Going to change these around so I can see the really colourful one here at the front. It's a display piece. It's spectacular. And then uh, next to there we can actually have oh this really cool printed piece. With, yeah, it's a kitchen printed piece. It's from Gabby's Dollhouse too, and it's just perfect for this with all of the confetti and the little cat's earsy bits on it. Just moving this table out of the way very difficultly, difficultly so that we can see what I'm doing behind it because we have built in this space so much. It's like so cluttered, you can't see. And this could have, so I could make a sink, but that would be boring. I mean, sinks are functional and you need them to keep things clean, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for snacks and delicious cat things. So speaking of delicious cat things, I did mention that we needed some cat treats. So these, which were um, paw prints before and now doubling as cat treats, got a whole bowl here of cat treats, which you could just like stick your hand in and grab one and give them to the kitties. And then over here on the other side, we have another cookie jar with cookies for the people. These sugar cookies, which just make me so hungry for sugar cookies. I really, really want one. <laughs> And there's a space in the middle for another kitty. Alice, Alice the kitty. Okay, all right. I mean, having cats nestled in amongst the food is absolutely revolting, but <laughs> this is make-believe, so hush. All right, I want to put... Mm, I want to put this on the top, so I'm going to need to space this out a little bit better. So if I move that over one, then I can... Then I can center the big cat thing in the middle of it, I think. So if we put this over here on this side for support, Port. Uh, I think it probably needs to go up one. Can I just put it on the top and nobody will notice that there's like a one by one plate missing off there? No, I'll know. I'll know that it's, I'll know that it's not there. So I'll just take that off and I'll put it on and there we go. Now my heart will be happy. You can't see it, but we really didn't need to do that. <laughs> but it's done now. Okay, so now we have our big cat face on the top. Let's reinstall all of our cookies. <laughs> touch all the sugar cookies. I want to have them like the print facing forward because otherwise it's not very interesting to look at. It's so cute though. Look at that. Okay. Over here we need cat food. We're going to need an awful lot of cat food. So we've got a few different boxes from, <laughs> from many different years of collecting cat stuff, including this one which was new this year. So that's really cool. Once again came out of the cat hotel. I just love that we got a cat hotel. It's so good. Everything's been dog themed before. It's nice to have a kitty one. Uh, put our table back in. So if this is the front, like the servery table, oh, come on. I know Snowball fits under here. Like I can just kind of nestle her ear under perfect. Okay, so we need a cash register and we're going to put our delicious cake here ready. Cakey up here on top of the cash register. Teapot over here because you've got to have cups of tea at a cat cafe. And this little unikitty tail and a little eerie kind of thing makes the idea of a cat. And in the cat treat, no, the cat toy area, we've got like a tassely plaything. And so we can put that in the box when we're not using it. But at the moment, Aslan's popped in to have a bit of a play here with Sandy Tan. Sandy Tan, the kitty. Yeah, look at them. They're having so much fun. And we'll put another ball in there because you can never have enough balls. They always end up underneath, <laughs> underneath the entertainment unit anyway. And we have got Sooty in the kitchen as well. And then up on the top here, I'm going to have to pause for breath at some stage. Up on the top, there are spaces for some more jumper studs to have some more cats. So we have got little Blinky. Oh, Blinky. And we have got Aquamint and Mad Max with his mohawk up the top. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh. Do we have enough cats in here? I think there's room for a few more. Let's just reseat the kitty over here with the cookies. Uh, this room down here for, for little monkey cat. 
And then, I just don't think we can fit any more in. I really don't. I think this is absolutely absurd and I love it. It's so, it's so bonkers, guys. But there's room for just one more. There's always room for one more. Oh my goodness. All right. So did we reach cat saturation? Kitty, <laughs> kitty max <laughs> for our build today. I think we did. I like, I mean, I say there might be, there's room for one more and there probably is. But at this stage, everywhere I look, I see cats. So I think Tick, we have successfully fulfilled the brief for this build and I am just absolutely delighted looking to the kitties. All right, make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment. Which one was your favorite cat? <laughs> I don't remember the name, so it'll be fun. Uh, yeah, and do all the things. Check back in because more videos are coming up soon. So I will see you then. <laughs> okay, bye.